Hi, this is Charles. And I am Newman. How's it going, guys? Um, we're, we're glad being, you're watching. We are glad you're watching. We're bringing another exciting A-G-E-O-D, American Civil War action. Woo! Woo! All right, guys, it is early July, 1863. Um, what's happening? Our boys in Tennessee are starving. Dole's division in Virginia is starving. We have people just starving all over. The Union's calling for more volunteers. It's up north in Virginia. They've done a blockade. We've done an embargo. Um, we're just... Kakalaki. We're no, that's Savannah. Them. I mean, all over. Ugh, just huge amounts of um, hits. 50 hits there in Savannah. Uh, 16... This, there's about 100 hits on this this uh, this section here. Is, yeah. Davis, the Union's this Davis Savannah. Regiment... It's pretty much gone. It's down to power 32. Um, yeah, so we start controlling the Mississippi River, and they, we're definitely not giving them the opportunity to just go up and down. They're, every time they move from, through Vicksburg or Port Hudson, they're getting hammered hard. Um, we had loads of cavalry regiments, and we're pushing the Union cavalry back in every single one currently. Um, basically, so Montgomery, Franklin, we're just we're winning all of these. Now, I'm not capturing regiments, but we're pushing them back. Um, out in the, in the Indian Territory, Wadi won against the, that force. Um, we won our cavalry regiments, won back in uh, Alabama too. Alabama? Yeah, Sullivan. Um, here we go, 3rd Military District. Yeah, the, man, Gardner's boys really gave them get, put some serious stuff. It's 54 hits there. Vicksburg. Well, how are you reading that now? Come on now. Third military district has bombarded Davis command command landing 54 hits. Okay. Vicksburg fortification Vicksburg fortifications has bombarded Memphis squadron landing 31 hits. Okay. They're just throwing cannibals through their forces basically as they move up and uh, down the river. Yeah, here's another one. 51 hits again. New York squadron 29 hits. Memphis squadron. So he's trying to move things up and down the Mississippi. And every time you go time. by my cannon, I mean most of the time they're going to see them and shoot at them. Basically. Nice. nice. Um. So what are we gonna do? Basically, I got Indian territory. Yeah, let's take it by region. Yeah. And it? Explain it to me. I, I'm sort of. Wadi is going to these Blunt's force. It's a Union cavalry force has moved over to, from Fort Gibson to Cherokee. Uh -huh. so I'm, I'm having Wadi's force on attack, and they're gonna target them. Hopefully, they'll attack these guys too. Yeah. What are they doing up there? They were attacked, and they're sort of just okay. you know in a minimal defensive position. Texas is holding on. Um, we have set up a defensive position here right in Baltimore. There it is. It's now we're in uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, I mean. Yeah, yeah. so hey. this is B's force. Um, Vicksburg is still there. It's still getting some supply. Are you moving somebody over there? Yeah, I'm going to send, send a couple of cavalry regiments out. You tried to sneak some people out before. Did that work? It works, yeah. He's cool. uh, he's left this open, this northern portion here. So I'm Why did you think he was doing <clears> that? He's just getting organized, and he's not really in a rush. I mean, it's he's got... I think he'll do something before summer ends. Because that would make sense. He just moves some dudes over there. Yeah, they're not under siege, so that's probably why we're still getting some supply in. I mean, our supply level is going on slowly. And now it's at 70%. And you remember, like, last time it was 72, 75, yeah. so we're just losing a little bit. So I'm going to send out my couple of cavalry regiments and kind of get behind his rear, try to get some military control here, be able to destroy the railroad. Okay. Um, this guy's going to blow the railroad here. We're going to try to... I'm sending a couple of regiments here because this is at... 55% Confederate controlled, and if we can up that a bit, we'll take control of this railroad portion here and, and separate these two forces. Oh. Um, these guys are going to go out and go up here to uh, take more control and blow the railroad eventually. You can see there was the railroad has been destroyed, so mm -hmm. now he's repairing it. Um, Gardner's force is looking good. I mean, they're basically full supply. They're just, they have, he's got about 60, 50 cannon, and they're just. He's in battle. Every right? time people go by, he's just he's he's just loading into them basically. Um, he's in Port Hudson. Okay. Yeah. Um, Johnston is organized here. He's up to about eleven thousand six hundred men. Go, Joe. And um, I'm sending another I'm sending uh, another general to him to uh, we'll create another division here in a bit. Put all these guys into a division. Okay. Um. We've, hold, we've held Montgomery. They didn't attack it. So I'm going to take back Selma and Grove Hill, basically. Um, yeah, Tennessee. Okay, let's look at massive, Tennessee. They're all starving, more or less. Yeah, yeah. But, they've, but, they've been, but you've been slowly falling back. So I'm falling back, yeah. No, try to get, Thomas is chasing us. Um, 
So we have a uh, Hardy's core here is in a or Polk's core is in a good defensive position. Entrench level, level four, and, four. level four yes, entrenchments, yes. twenty eight thousand men. So we'll try to step a kind of like a four, a long fish hook here. Hopefully that will helps with some of our major ridiculous supply issues. I mean, do you think that once they get across the river, they're going to try to sweep down in? We'll see. I think it's, yeah, I mean, I think he's going to... I mean, what's, it, what's, I guess, his like, overall strategy? But... Probably take Chattanooga and then take Atlanta, or try to get in my rear. Yeah. Yeah. Because that would cut off supply. Oh, gosh, it would. They, he's evacuated Let's the... Let's go to uh, he's Savannah. He's now. evacuated his force here. Where have those guys gone? So, you remember, he was holding... He You're going to hit the replay? You're going to hit yeah, the replay. Yeah, he was threatening Savannah... See what they got. DuPont's going. fleets. He left with everyone, so they're gone. Let's oh, get oh in gosh, it. he's sending them up north. Oh, he sent them to Fort Macon. Oh, where are they going? Oh, they're in Macon. Yep. Yeah, yep. so he yep. sent them to Fort Macon. Let's, uh, you know, now that we see that, let's, um, you know, what we can do is um, we can take back Beaufort there. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, take out the regiment. Okay, taking all these infantry regiment. Yeah, let's see the the, the alliance. It's uh, oh, it's rebel. Okay, so we'll just send our um, we'll just send a cavalry regiment out there. And some cannon. No, there's no need. I mean, there's no the guys are gone. Okay, we just need. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Huh, what's in there? Three out of five. Probably not going to take that. <laughs> think about that. Okay, um, well, this is new stuff that's come to light. This uh, guy. Yeah, so yeah. now, what are we going to do up here? And, okay, uh, here's what. Should, let's let's think about this. As, I think Lee, as Lee would say, we may have an opportunity here. Mm -hmm. He's he's taken out some of his force here, and he's taken he's dropped off um, Hunter's force. That was from Savannah here. Now, about four divisions have moved into Onzo, North Carolina. Um. Hampstead, Topsail. He's probably just trying to hope to basically surround Lee. Now, what I what I think we need to do here is we need. I'm going to take Lee. I'm going to send him into here. I'm not going to target him. I just want him to go back into here. And if the guy's still here, we're going to Attack. bring him to battle. I'm going to leave Smith on defense, and I'm going to leave um, Jackson on defense. Smith is here. Jackson's going to be here three days. Jackson will arrive. This guy will arrive in four days. If he's still here. Lee will bring him to battle. Jackson and Smith should then come into here and pincher. It's a classic pincher maneuver. <laughs> Isn't it called a pincer, not pincher? Oh, pincer. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Mm. Now, the forces are about even, but I'm hoping on Lee's great abilities and with Jackson and Smith being able to hit them. It's really, well, Smith's in a good position here. He's actually really been able to rally these guys. They're completely fresh. They're completely. Um, sorry, you've moved the no. house. You um, yeah, so Smith is in a good position here, um, and uh, we can bring the battle and defeat them, capture, capture some, some of their men, I mean, we, that'll be good. Yeah. Um, I, 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 think, uh, I, mean, I think I think he may stay there, because I think he may be wanting to, he may want to try to trap Lee back there. Um, so that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I'm interested to see what Virginia, happens. Virginia, we, we have a bit of a starvation issue beginning to occur. There just isn't enough supply getting generated and being sent. Look at Richmond, 37 supply. It's almost zero. <gasps> I mean, so we have Union Calvary all over, and so we're going to continue to push back the Calvary. I did get um, Mosby's forces in the rear of the Union here, so we're going to try to blow this road in Manassas and then come. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then, and then come back down. And then target that. This cover regiment will target this. This one will target this. This one will target this. Uh, this one will target this. So that's one, two, three. There's five Union regiments, cover regiments there. They're also scoping out Richmond. And it's kind of a bit scary because there's not much in Richmond right now. Um, oh, dear. Yeah, I know. Just very, very small forest, really. 3,000 men. Ewell's um, here. Long Street and Jackson holding the left flank. Range power between 900 and 1100. I'm going to try to build a depot in Charlottesville, send the supply wagon from Suffolk to Stewart, 
And if you take a look at economics now, oops, sorry, wrong one. Um, we're going to continue to do the uh, Virginia industrialization. I turned yeah. off the Mississippi one for this term because I want to build a supply wagon um, in Virginia. Now, as far as the draft goes, I'm just going to do a call for volunteer, no no payment. Um, look at this. If t we actually have lots of concert companies, but no no more supply. supply. Yeah. Um, in case you're wondering about blockade runners, we do have, we have a couple out here. So there's there's two sets there, four elements, and then another five here. That's nine. Um, they're just so ex they just take so much worse light to build and. Yeah, we invested that worst part early on in railroads, and we probably, in hindsight, maybe yeah. should have done Briggs. Oh, Briggs blockade runners. Yeah. So uh, that may have been a mistake. Mm. Now we're, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping that through events, they're going to give us more blockade runners for free, which sometimes they do. I just don't know when they're going to happen. I was sort of, like, they gave, they've only given us one so far. Lillian. Yeah. All right. Um, so lots happening. Yep. I think... Uh, like always, Virginia could be a key moment. This is going to be an interesting move here in, in North Carolina and see what happens. Yeah, like we've got a big North Carolina campaign right, he's in, sort of, right up he's the sort street. He sort of paused the Mississippi can his Mississippi campaign. And, I mean, uh, you and I were talking about it off, off camera. Johnson had nothing left. He had about 3,000 men. They were wore out. Um, 32 and power or some shit. It was, it, was, it was down there. It may have been like 100 power. But, you know, any sort of, I think, fresh division would have wiped them out. And now they're organized. They have... 11,000 men, level six entrenchments, even you know 48 cannon. That's going to be, and it generates a lot of supply. 54 a turn, so they're going to be able to withstand. I think basically they're not even. They're just they're sitting there in their entrenchments, and they're able to eat the own food that they're growing in the region. Yeah. You know, so it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he, he does. I mean, if I can organize second division here, it's going to be really tough to push Johnson out. He's very good at defense. Um, and uh, I'm I'm kind of. We, had, we, had, we lost that division in Meridian a while back. It was captured, but I've sort of I'm kind of happy with the, the Mississippi situation. I'm a bit more concerned about Tennessee now because of the supply issues. Well, but if they're um, getting back to Chattanooga, then I think that's gonna that's gonna be good. I mean, yeah, you know, Chattanooga's for supply. He may be just sort of marshalling everybody into yeah. a little into spots. But all right, guys, um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. See you next time.